Hello everyone, welcome back to the Info City. I hope you all are doing well. Well, um, today I'm going to share about an experience that I recently faced. Uh, I was just uh, doing a fresh install in my windows and uh, on my laptop windows and all of a sudden there was an interruption and the laptop, uh, the uh, windows installation was uh, not, did, didn't go well and it's uh, just stopped in the mid and now i'm just seeing this uh screen over and over again and it's uh, it's a constant loop like no matter how many times i try it's it's just not loading and it's just stuck on this window so i'm just sharing my experience with you so if anyone is going through this phase they they would be able to uh know how to solve this issue so uh let's start it what's happening it's my computer goes back in the reboot mode reboot mode and see let's see if the windows start or not it's loading loading it's still loading well taking quite a lot of time here well let's just hope it loads the windows still loading loading more loading okay so back to this error so no matter how many times I try it keeps on showing this error so what are we going to do now I mean I'm stuck I can't enter my windows and I can't even install the windows again so what should we do if we get this error if our installation is interrupted in between if our new windows installation is interrupted in between so keep on watching so the computer is basically stuck in a loop so how we are going to fix this problem we are going to press the shift and the f12 key with it We're going to press shift and the F10 key and now you will see uh, the C mode has opened, CMD pro command prompt has opened. So what are we going to write over here, REG edit, it will take us to the registration edit mode. From here you have to go to the system, from the H key local machine, click system then click setup click status then here you'll see child completion here in the child completion you can see default audit obidl or obildi or something and then setup.exe here in setup exe you can see the value is set to 1 what we're going to do we will click it so now here you can see setup exe and here you can see its value is one so we have to change the setup.exe value here so we're going to double click it here we can see the value data is one we're going to enter three here then click ok And now click OK on this prompt that you're getting from the windows. OK. You'll see the windows uh, are rebooting again. Let's see if this fixes the problem or not. Here it goes again. Loading and loading. Lots of loading over here. Still loading. Okay. Well, there is something new coming up. Let's see what it is. 
did it fix our issue or not? Still loading back to the same thing again. Loading, loading, lots of loading. Okay, so we are waiting, waiting, waiting. Still waiting. What's taking so long? This might take some while since we have changed the values of the probably system is recognizing it. There you see it says just a moment. Something new coming up. Let's hope it's something good coming up. That's taking quite a lot of moments. So this is what we get after quite lots of moments. Not just a moment, but quite a lot of moments. Now let's start with re region. Is this right? So you're asking me about the region. Okay, so we can select it. Can select the region over here. Now it's going back to just a moment. So they're asking about the right keyboard layout. We're going with the US. Well, add a second keyboard layout. So basically, it's a fresh restart, a fresh install of the window. Installation of the window has started from where it was interrupted and my system is working fine now so that's one problem solved this way thank you for watching the video if anyone is facing any of this kind of issue i hope uh, this video will help you understand the problem and will help you out if you're facing something similar to share your comments um below okay have a good day bye bye